Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today, we're going to create the what? Oh, you're doing. You're doing a countdown? Five, four, three, two. Uh, we don't really do countdowns, but apparently we do now. Um, we're going to do the Sunday Snuggie. This comes from Dave, who sent this recipe. This has Jaeger. Bam. Jaegermeister. Wah! It's got bourbon whiskey, so we're using the, the West... Yeah. The Woodford Reserved Distiller Select. It's thin, but it's still 750 milliliters. Is it not amazing how many different bottle designs can fit the same physical volume of alcohol? It's awesome. You probably got one like this size. It'll be like 750. Uh, it's going to have some. It's just a little cranberry juice in here. We're going to top it with cranberry juice. We're going to use a little uh, grenadine. Now, I've been getting not really too many people, but a couple people saying never use this pre-made mix masters or master mixes sweet and sour mixer so i decided you know what i'm not going to this is probably why it's got a lot of high fructose corn syrup but typically the ingredients read the way i think the the most ingredient is right so you've got water is the first high fructose corn syrup is the second lemon citric acid lime so if you think about it make your own it's not hard i did see it kind of looks like lime but one ounce of lime so i squeeze the lime Tiny, you just get an ounce. An ounce of lemon. So we'll use a little bigger so you can't you don't necessarily have to use all the lemon. And then an ounce of simple syrup. Lots of different recipes for sweet sour mixes on the internet, and you could probably submit <coughs> excuse me, submit yours if you want to. Uh, this is just one part of each. I figured it was pretty simple. Tastes tasty and sour and sweet, so we're gonna use that. And no high fructose corn syrup. We save that for the grenadine. And that's it. Two ounces of these three ingredients here. Oh. And we're good to go. So let's be good to go. We'll do the two ounces of bourbon first. And Jennifer's comment before the show is, this is going to taste, what am I doing? This is going to taste weird. I think it's going to be weird. Bourbon and Jaeger. I don't know. Weird doesn't always mean bad. No, no. Weird could just be awkward, something I've never had before, which I have never had this before. So it could be, in fact, weird. There's a lot of alcohol in here too. So you got four ounces of alcohol, not a weak drink. You could probably fill up your Collins glass with ice and pour for two. That way you don't have as much intensity. Cause I mean, it's a lot. That's some serious liquor right there. And then we'll do two ounces of this sweet sour mix. Now it happens to be, I have a little left over. If you do a one, one and one, you're gonna have enough for two ounces, right? Have yeah. Now it says build over Collins glass. I want to chill it. So I'm going to pour it over Collins glass. One reason is the sweet sour, typically you shake juices. So I'm going to shake the juice. I like it better that way. And we'll splash the cranberry juice in last. If you want, you can garnish with a maraschino cherry. I don't have any on me. We'll deal with that. Shake it up. Now, had it been clear, like if it was just the alcohols, even though it is pretty dark, you could build it in your Collins glass. You could build it anyway. You could be like, screw you, guy. Run away. There we go. And strain that guy right in here. Smells good. Leave a little room for our cranberry and grenadine. Put this in last just because. A little float on the top there. Splash a little cranberry in there. Now you can, if you wanted to, I don't have any cool sticks, but stick with a with a maraschino cherry on there. Very dark, very coffee-like. It almost looks like you have like a Kahlua in here. Ooh, complex. Definitely get the, I don't know, they pair pretty well. You've got definite bourbon taste. Lots of bourbon. Bourbon cranberry juice, by the way, seems to go pretty good together. Not getting a lot of cranberry. A little sour note. A little acidity, you know, like that little acidity stuff. The Jaeger actually plays really well. 
you're playing well today. The the problem with Jaeger is it typically overpowers a drink, especially when you do dual parts, like two and two. Y Jaeger can easily just eat that drink alive, and you're just like, oh, it's like a bourbon-flavored Jaeger. But this is not like that. This is very much melded together. The scents are definitely that herbal quality of the Jaeger. Overall, though, I almost get like a black licorice with acid. It's definitely... It's got the qualities of lemonade in, in the acidity, probably because we're using natural sweetener or sweet sour. Definitely cool, not oh, outbalanced. Both meld well together, making a very unique tasting cocktail, something different. Little herbal, nice smooth bourbons. So there you go. That is the Sunday Snuggie. Um, probably good if you just got back from, I don't know, shoveling your yard on a Sunday when all the snow fell and you're really hot and you just need a drink so there you go i'm your host eric Schoenberg. check us out on everydaydrinkers.tv and we're teaching you how to drink